project is uh, I'm taking the bench seats out and I'm putting in bucket seats. So uh, I was actually on Marketplace last night or yesterday uh, afternoon, and I just just so happened to type in Dallas. I'm in Oklahoma City. I just so happened to type in Dallas, and blue bucket seats popped up. And I'm like, this is perfect because the seats are blue, the bench seats are blue. Uh, the owner wants to do bucket seats. So I'm like, I gotta have them. So I seen it where he posted them two minutes ago. So as soon as I seen the ad, I jumped on it, inboxed them, showed them pictures of the bench seats. Like, hey, I need them. They're perfect. They're blue. This interior is blue. So we ended up uh, connecting, and I went went to go pick them up. So today I'm taking those bench seats out and uh, putting the buckets in. So. I'm going to show you all that process. Uh, so, without further ado, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe right now because there's a lot of content coming. It's going to be a lot of stuff. G-Body, trucks, uh, classic cars, muscle cars. You so name the bench seats that's in that uh, 86 Monte Carlo. So, they are for sale and they are in good shape. I mean, they can go for, you know, a cleaning or whatever, but... But right now they're in good shape. I don't see any rips or tears or anything like that on them. Back side of the passenger. Everything looks good. Ashtray's clean. Armrest is good, no tears. Driver's side's good. Same thing. Clean. I don't see no rips on the leather. Ashtray's clean right, too. So when you're removing these seats, if it's all original or you know nobody's been in there messing with them. You should have these black covers. There's black covers on each of the legs. So the 60-40 split seats, uh, there's four legs on the passenger and then four legs on the driver. So what you wanna do, uh, there's a Phillip head screw. Unscrew that, move that cover out the way. And then under there, there's a 13 millimeter nut. So you gonna remove that one, that one, and then two in the back, and then the seat will be ready to lift up. So I'm gonna get all that stuff removed. There's even um, uh, black covers in the rear too. So I'm gonna get all this stuff lifted up. Get this seat out and I'll show you. Five minutes later. So, yep, like I was saying, you got the 13 millimeter nuts in the front. You got one on each foot. In the rear, you got two on each foot. So I'm gonna get this uh, vacuumed out and then uh, we'll set the bucket seat in there. Show you guys what it look like. There you have it. So, there you have it. I went ahead and pulled the floor mats up and uh, vacuumed everything up under there. Just to give you a better look. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the seat in there. I'm going to talk with the customer. And uh, I recommend just swapping out this carpet. But I can understand, you know, if you're on a budget, we can go ahead and shampoo it and get it as clean as we can. But for now, I'm going to just put the seat in there. Show you all what it looks like. Ratchet and socket, or you can use a adjustable wrench either one all right y'all we halfway there so got the first bucket in we're gonna go back and of course final installation sandblast all this painted black you know new carpet everything like that so this is just temporary just to get y'all some content so got the seat in there Everything works like it's supposed to. Lifts up, lift up, you know, locks in place, everything like that. So, lift up, reclines. So, works like it's supposed to. Now we halfway there. Halfway there. So, just went ahead and threw the passenger seat in there. Final installation, of course, you know, we gonna sandblast all that get it painted nice and black I, I'm gonna talk to the customer I'm gonna tell him man just go ahead and get some new carpet we did get a used console so we're gonna look to uh, replace all the broken parts with new parts new uh, armrest cushion uh, it has a few miscellaneous parts in there for like his door but for the most part everything's there right, yeah. and there's a driver's seat look like I found some money I'll get in the comments and uh, let me know. You know, there is a finder's fee, right? I found this money, so. What y'all think? Is that my third? Yo, 
it ain't perfect but it's at least 50 percent better than what it was so owner let's get a new carpet yep get a new carpet so we got the center console also so while the carpet is up we're gonna go ahead and tack weld those uh little brackets that the center console bolts to and the one that the floor shifter bolts to so but this is just a mock-up video like i said just to give y'all some content you got uh 13 millimeter nuts then you got uh the covers on the fronts and the backs there philip uh philip head screw so undo that uh you know remove the nuts and the seat comes out we're also going to remove that uh, uh you know uh, middle passenger seat belt so more to come it's just a quick video just put some content out there all right yeah. there we go it's temporarily installed we got some cleaning to do but they in there 